while we're hanging in there like a hair in a biscuit, and then it's almost time for the greatest show on the internet now. Today is going to be a great episode. We're going to blow your minds. We're going to blow your mouths. Uh, we're going to blow uh, everything that you thought about food out of the water. Here's my boy, Chef Jopano! Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rick Tech Lifestyle. Set it. And come get it when the sun starts going down. Live your life the way you like. It's a wreck tech lifestyle. Do 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 wreck tech lifestyle. What's up, America? And welcome to lunch break. I'm so happy to be here with you. I am Chef John, and on the ones and twos, my boy Jody Flanagan, barbecue dad. Your barbecue dad. He is answering all the questions mm, on mm, the comments. Say, mm. look at him. Go, go, Jody. Go, Jody. Go, Jody. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Get it, Fergie. Come on, 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 come on. No, sorry. All right. I'm We're having too much show. fun out here today, guys. It is show. a beautiful day here today in Evans, Georgia. We are at the worldwide headquarters for Rec Tech Grills. Beautiful. And we're just loving it. We're Gorgeous. loving it. So it's summertime in Georgia. It is hot, ladies and gentlemen. It is hot. The heat has finally set in. So I wanted to try to cool Good things indeed. down, do something really light, a really light and quick dish for you guys, which y'all I know y'all are gonna love. So we're gonna do some salmon quesadillas. That's right. But it's right. also thick. Yeah, it's a little thick. It's a little thick. I I am thick, Jody. I consider myself a thick man. Connoisseur so of the thickness. To, to keep the thickness down, we're gonna try to do a little quesadilla, right? Keep y'all thickness down. That's right. All right. So what I have here, shout out to my friendly neighborhood grocery store Publix. We went and got a couple pieces of salmon. They already took the skin off of it. I've got some heirloom tomatoes here, uh, a couple of avocados, some goat cheese, some mozzarella cheese, some portobello mushrooms, um, and some mixed mushrooms that I just cooked in a little bit of oil, put some Ben's heifer dust on it, and a little bit of garlic uh, paste. Y'all know we, we use that garlic paste all the time around here. This is Shoot, delicious. Yeah. We're gonna be seasoning everything today. One seasoning, keeping it light, keeping it special with that Ben's heifer dust. I got a little bit of spinach. And that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. We're going to cook it on the RT700. I have it set at 420 degrees. I have the sear kit set on the right-hand side. That's going to help us melt that cheese on those quesadillas. But we're going to jump straight into it. All right. So what I've got here is just some teriyaki that I boosted mm. with two tablespoons of Asian persuasion. You so stole it? What? You boosted it? I you boosted it? it. Boosted it oh, with Asian persuasion. You rectified it. I rectified it. Uh, just to give it a little bit uh, extra flavor, and you can use whatever teriyaki sauce that you like. You know, I just went uh, with my favorite. So we're just going to pour this over. Mm. Well, yeah, that looks good, right? Now, normally, you're going to want to let this set in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Really let all that flavor um, start to meld into the salmon uh, uh, so it will be nice and delicious. Yum. But... Let's just say that I let it sit for 30, 45 minutes in the refrigerator, and we're going to go ahead and throw it in. Logan, will you hand me those gloves right there, please, and thank you? Quick shout out to Logan Wright. Yeah, helping us out, interning. She's doing a great job. All right, so we're just going to mix these around. Guys, make sure you smash that share button. Give yeah, Chef guys. John a like and a love. He's cooking salmon. That's what I'm talking about. How do you pronounce the word salmon, everybody? Put it in the comments section down below. I say salmon. You say salmon? Salmon. Salmon. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw these down. Yum. Looks perfect. You hear that sizzle? So That's how long you uh, could you leave those marinating, Chef John? I would say about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes in the refrigerator. Uh, you don't want to leave them in there too long uh, because the acid will start to break down uh, the fish. So just long enough that it's going to start to penetrate it. Nice. All right. So, now, really, it's just all about, we're waiting for that salmon to finish cooking. And it's all about building our quesadillas. I already did some salmon earlier. This is what it looked like when it came off the grill. Delicious. Has a, that nice glaze to it, a little bit of sweetness. It's going to be awesome, awesome. All right, so I'm going to grab my quesadillas, tortillas. We're going to open these bad boys up. Shout out to our mission quesadilla guys we love you guys so much we do Thank love you, so you guys much for all your support 
Do uh, Jody? Do we have any great questions about Casey you know, Diaz so far? They're just all excited that you're here, Chef John. Everybody's oh, fired up. I love it. Uh, I love it, guys. We had a little guys. bit of audio hiccup at the beginning. Do we have a little uh, audio we, hiccup? No. Can, can no, you guys hear me? Can fixed. you see me? Because that's fixed. important. All right. North Dakota in the house. California yeah, North Dakota. In the house. That's what I'm talking about. Illinois. All right. So I have this goat cheese. I got a plain one and I got a peppered one. You could use whatever you want. Okay, Dan. What we're do gonna you do prefer is goat cheese, Chef. I do prefer the goat cheese. And we're just going to spread it. Oh. Right? Spread the goat cheese. And really, this is going to do two things. It's going to act as like a binder to help everything stick to. And it's going to give us some delicious flavor. Okay, then. That's, okay, that's what I'm talking about. All right. So we got this. Looks yummy. Yeah. Now, did you let that cheese heat up or anything, John? I or did. Is that thank how you. It naturally yeah. you no, uh, thank works. you for saying that, Jody. Everything, yeah, I did let it come to room temperature, and that's how it's spreading so easy. So when you buy it, just go ahead and leave it out as you're starting to prep your ingredients when you start to cook your mushrooms down. But you could add whatever kind of cheese in here. Borison cheese would be good. Just Ooh. regular cream cheese would be good. Would right. any kind of fish work, Chef John? Any kind of fish would work in this. You could do tuna. You could do uh, flounder. I, I would try to stay tilapia. I would try to stay close to the flaky fishes. You would, uh, instead of those really dense, dense fishes, um, it's not going to work as great. But yes, you could use any fish you'd like. Nice. All right, so now we're going to take the shrooms. I've got some portobellas in here. Dang. Yeah. What kind of bellas? Portobellas, them <laughs> baby bellas. And then we, I had just grabbed the mix. There's some shiitakes. There's some buttons in there. And this was so simple, guys. Garlic paste, one tablespoon of garlic paste. Uh, I used about uh, half a pound of butter. And then I just sauteed it down. It was super, super easy. Florida in the house. Hey, North Florida. Augusta. That's South what I'm talking about. Jersey, Arkansas. Arkansas. All right, so Denver. now we got the uh, uh, avocado. Yum. We're just going to lay this down on there. And now I know y'all are probably like, Chef John, how did you get those awesome little avocado slices like that? And you know what? I'm more than happy to show you guys. Because I guess cutting an avocado is kind of difficult, Jody. We, I see people struggling with it all the time. Really? Yeah, like cutting their fingers or not be able to get the seed out. All right, so we're going to say the end that has that little knot on it is the north side of the avocado. The opposite side is the south end, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our knife and insert it to the north end and then just roll the avocado just roll it. around our knife, being really careful, right? Once we get to the other end, we're just going to twist it. Boom. So easy, right? Okay, Could now comes easy, the tricky easy? part. You're going to go ahead and tap and twist. See, it's okay if it doesn't come out. Tap and twist. Uh-oh, this one's oh, acting one's up. Gonna give this one's going to oh get yeah. it. This one's going to get it, but there now. you go. There you go. There yeah, you go. There we we go. got it off. All right, now we're just going to slice. I'm going to make nice little vertical slices. Florida, Texas, Ohio, Minnesota. What's up, everybody? Thank all you guys for tuning in. Guys, do me a favor real quick. Before I finish showing you this avocado trick, smash that share button. And yes, it's not sir. just for me. It's for you guys. It's the only way my boss knows that you guys love the content that we're bringing you. And he looks at those shares. So smash that share button. Help me help you keep bringing about. you awesome content. That's it. All right. So now we take our spoon. We're just going to go into the side of the avocado. And then we're just going to roll the spoon around. Right? Yum. Roll it around. And then just lift it out. Boom, and then they're already perfectly sliced little pieces. All right, I'll show you all one more time. All right, just making, we're going north to south, vertical. We're not going all the way through the skin of the avocado. Just north and south, real nice like. Taking our spoon, going in the side, and then just lifting the whole avocado out. It's all sliced perfect. See how nice. easy that was? So easy, guys, so easy. Okay, so now we got our avocado in there. I'm going to take a little bit of this tomato, and these are heirloom tomatoes. It's tomato season, guys. It's that time. Now, I don't necessarily like the heat because I, I get hot quick, you know? Ooh, thickness, yeah, old thickness gets hot quick. But it does, the summer does bring the delicious, delicious fruits. I got some beautiful heirloom tomatoes. So, John, did you have the skin on these salmon? I did not. I had the skin taken off the salmon, boneless, skinless on the salmon. And your butcher did that for you? The butcher did do that for me. 
totally ask them. And guys, if you ever go to buy that kind of fish or you buy it in fish and you don't want the skin on it, you could totally ask them to take the skin off. They're totally happy to do it, and it's super easy for them to do too. So don't be scared to make your butcher do a little bit of work. Okay, so now we're going to take our salmon, and we're just going to crumble it up a little bit, right? Keep it, in, keep it in some big chunks. What are you doing? We're just going to crumble it a little bit and put it in here. Okay. Right? Don't hand, manhandle that fish now, John. <laughs> well, you want it to be in pieces so that when it folds and you bite into it, you're going to get every little piece you bite into is going to have some salmon on it, right? That's what we're looking for. I want to incite some anger. So you guys let us know whether or not you like flour tortillas or corn tortillas down below. That's we what I'm talking about. We know you got a hard about. opinion about it, and I love them flour tortillas. Corn tortillas are trash. So I went ahead and dusted with a little bit of heifer dust. Oh. Right? I'm going to finish with a little bit of the spinach. A lot of folks are saying they love uh, fish skin. Oh, I do. I'm a fan of the fish skin, Jody. And okay. it does great on the Rec Tech grill. Great, great, great. I, um, the other night I cooked some salmon and I went skin side down, touching the grates at Ooh. 420 degrees and didn't even flip it once. You know, season it, didn't flip it once. It came out crispy and delicious. Jody, you got an awesome question? Absolutely. From one of our awesome, awesome fans, Mr. Jacob Garman was wondering, do we have these recipes in a written version john we where could they sign up for that guys if you want this recipe or any of the other recipes that you see us making all you have to do is go to rectechgrills.com forward slash lunch break and put your information in and you can sign up to get all this all this and more everybody all this and more we've had zero corn tortilla votes so far that's right corn tortillas well, okay are now trash. listen jody i like corn tortillas from time to time I like them as chips. <laughs> I like when they're nice and they've been toasted a little bit. They're nice and warm. They're not that bad. But I you have do, do have to dip them in water and put them on the grill. They, that makes them a thousand times better. That's even true. Even though they that still is true. Ta don't taste that good. That way <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and put a little bit of mozzarella cheese on here. Mm. We're, we're just going to go ahead and fold her over. Right? Yum. I know, that's a fatty right there. I'm going to go ahead and take my nice fish spatula. We're going to oh. slide it on. Thickness. Thickness. Oh, thickness. Dang, boy. <laughs> That's a thick boy. Jesse Gomez says, put some respect on the corn, bro. <laughs> oh, we're going to just make sure that Higher it's all in Higher in fiber, there. so they're lower, they have lower net carbs. Very yes. cool. Yes. All right. We got that one in. Y'all can see how quick the salmon's cooking. We just put it on. What temp you rolling at, I'm Chef rolling Taylor? at 420 degrees. Oh, of course. It is perfect, perfect temperature to get these quesadillas where you want them. All right, we're going to take the second quesadilla. We're going to stick it right here like that. Ooh, Jody. Man, that thing looks Jody, good. Jody, Jody, Jody. That looks delicious. Yum. But I'm not going to lie to you, Jody. I'm working up a sweat over here, bro. You look like you look kind of sweaty. Ooh, so mama say, mama sama, maku son. It is mm. hot, hot, hot. Okay. Okay. So, while those toast, you know, we're going to let them go about three, four minutes aside. We're going to flip them over. While that's going on, Jody, what do you say we make a drink? Man, smash that share button. And smash that share button. Guys, can you help me out. Help me out. Jody, we got any good questions? John, they're all just loving it. Oh. Um, Craig said he did Salmon on the Rec Tech last weekend, skin side down at 425, and it worked amazing. That's what I'm Tasted talking about. Tasted delicious. Yeah, that skin gets crispy. It's so good. So, so good. Don't we, sleep on we that. We do have a good question, John. Yes, sir. we got a new owner out there. Okay. How long should your Rec Tech take to heat up to 400 de degrees? It's uh, it, Actually, Jody, that's a great question because it depends on which Rec Tech grill you're heating up. Right. Uh, the bullseye heat's going to heat up a lot faster than the 700. The 340 is going to heat up faster than the 700. But I'm saying it's going to be about 10 minutes to so get that to temperature. So about you know 400 degrees will take you about 20-ish minutes. That's right, and 10-ish minutes in the uh, RTB 380 and the RTB 340. That's right. That's right. Now, if you're doing your initial burning, guys, you got to remember Tell that them, Jody. when you put pellets in the hopper that there are no pellets in that auger tube, okay? Right. So you, you initially have to put a handful of pellets in the fire pot to prime that auger tube. That's right. Once uh, those pellets burn up, you may see a drop in temperature, but you, your grill will quickly go back up to 400 degrees and hold it. That is gonna be the only hiccup you have during startup, okay? 
Jody, you are just a wealth of information, oh, buddy. Jody, you're just so, so I mean, kind. I tell you what, I don't know what I would do without you. All so, right, so what I did was I got some berries mixed into our mm. shaker, right? I've got some raspberry, blueberries, and blackberries. We're just going to muddle these up. You going to make a vaccarita, John? Yeah, um, you know, it's the drink of the summer, Jody. <laughs> Hashtag drink of the summer. You know it. Kay Sheeran already has it. Hashtag drink of summer. Hashtag drink of summer. And guys, I'm, today I'm using my favorite vodka, Second City Distillery Vodka. Shout out to all the people at Second City Distillery. They make fine, fine spirits, and they're a fun, fun group of people. So we're going to go ahead and three count on the vodka. Then I have some of the Second City, Second City, City Distillery aged peach rum. This stuff is delicious, Jody. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you're a rum guy, but you need to give this a shot. It's great. It really adds a nice little hint of the sweetness and that rum. What do you call, what is that taste that you call rum? It's got a creamy, it's got a, like a uh, little spice to it. I, I think it's delicious. All right, so we did a one count on that. Yeah, like a, like a, a bourbon-y, yeah. what is it, like a... Like a woody. Type thank, flavor, that's what I thank right? you. Yes, thank you very much. And then we're gonna it's finish terrible. it off with this dirty girl sour mix. In the new bottle, all the bartenders asked for it. They're like, we need another bottle. Those big bottles will not fit behind the bar. They heard your cries and they redesigned the bottle for you guys. We're gonna finish this off with a little bit of dirty girl. Now we're gonna give it a shake. My favorite part. Yum. Yeah. Hey, Jody, you got a good question out there? I do, I do. It looks like we got a new owner out there, uh, Jason Easter. He's asking, so when we vacuum out our firebox, and I think he's meaning fire pot. Right. When he vacuums out his fire pot, should he put a handful of pellets back into the fire pot? Uh, no, definitely not, because that auger tube already has pellets in it. And when you go ahead and hit that start motor, it's just going to drop those pellets right in. Yeah. The only time you need to do that is the initial burn-in, when there is no pellets in the auger tube. Or if they run out, of course, right. When there's no when there's no pellets in the auger tube, that's when you're going to need to put it in there. That's a great question, though. All right, let's check out these quesadillas. Hey, I'm Travis sure Hendricks has got a uh, temperature issue. Travis, give us a call here at the office, 706-922-0890. And our professionals great. will help you out, brother. Man. Guys, the smells that are coming off Yum, of man, this quesadilla right here. Nice caramelization. Dick. You lust. All right, that salmon came out perfect, guys. And it took, you saw it took only about like eight minutes. It was probably four minutes aside. Super quick, super easy. All right, we're going to let those finish toasting up. I'm going to sip on my drink of summer. Woo, guys, it's so hot out here. Jody, you have an awesome question now. Yeah, uh, from our boy, our top fan, Donald Bonk. Uh, he's asking, do you still get smoke flavor at 400 plus degrees? You know, we do. Whenever you're, well, you're only burning wood. So obviously you're going to get smoke flavor. Now you're going to get more smoke the lower temperatures you reach and less smoke at the, those higher temperatures. But you're always going to get smoke no matter where you're burning. If you're cooking at 500 degrees because you're cooking with wood, you're going to get smoke. That's a great question. Nice. Thank you. Man, this, this drink drink of the summer guys smash that share button help me help y'all keep bringing y'all awesome content man this is so good dirty girl cocktail mixers guys you need to go check them out at dgcocktailmixers.com they have a line of bloody mary mixes cocktails rimmers they're doing a great job follow them on tiktok uh facebook and instagram i love those guys mm, hey so good. uh john mm -hmm. besides salmon yes sir what other proteins would you uh put in your quesadilla oh well Jody, that's a great question because really you could put whatever proteins you like. I've put um, I've put old pork butt in there. You know, shredded up pork. I put Ooh, pork in there. Lord. Obviously, you could put steak, chicken, or shrimp. Oh, Everybody yeah. knows that. But you could Scrimps. go you could go wild. You get fish in there. Tilapia is really good in a quesadilla. Um, yeah. What else, Jody? What do you like putting in yours? I've seen tongue quesadillas, beef tongue quesadillas. Right, right. I'm a traditional ground beef kind of guy, man. Ground beef, you know, ground turkey, chicken, chicken. yes. Yeah, yeah, all Jody Ox loves the tails. shrimp. That's it. Oxtails, lobsters. Oh, could you make a crab leg quesadilla? Ooh. Can we do that, Jody? Crab leg quesadilla. Would you guys king put in the comment quesadilla? section if you would like to see us make a king crab quesadilla. And Jody and I will do that one day, we promise. Risk you gotta it. put it in the comment section. If we get at least, what, 50 comments, Jerry, that say King Crab Quesadilla, we'll make that. 
Oh, pork belly quesadilla? Ooh, pork. I've actually made a pork belly quesadilla. A mama say, mama saw, mama maku son. That was delicious. Man, bacon some caramelized onions. That's right. We made a bacon gouda quesadilla one Ooh, time for lunch break as well. Ooh, son. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pull these quesadillas off. I know they're ready. How do you know that they're ready, John? Because they everything in here is already cooked or didn't need to be cooked, just need to be warmed through. So all we're really trying to do is make sure that they are toasted on both sides. And with that sear kit rocking, easy peasy lemon squeezy, as you say, mm. Jody. Lobster, right. buffalo chicken, eggs. Ooh, buffalo chicken. Egg quesadilla, Jody? Egg, uh, egg and bacon quesadilla. Uh, that breakfast quesadilla, yeah, that would be delicious. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Yo, oh, man. You knocked it out of the park, man. You gotta smash that, that share button. That looks so good. Guys, are you guys hungry? What are you guys eating for lunch? What are y'all having? Some hot dogs? Some like, I don't know, some sandwiches? Some tuna sandwiches? Some chips out the vending machine? Breakfast. Come on. We're doing it up here, big time. All right, I'm going to let this cool for just a second. Jared, you got any great questions? Man, they're all saying king crab and shoot, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Well, guys, make sure that you tune in Monday through Thursday at 12 o'clock for lunch break. We are bringing you great content like this all week long. So make sure you tune into that on. And also, so Monday we start out with lunch, uh, Backyard and Beyond at 4 o'clock. That's uh, with me. And then on Wednesdays, we're doing after hours. That starts at 5 o'clock now. That's me, Chef Greg, and Jody. Those guys are always cooking up something fun and delicious, having a good time. It's a hoot. If you haven't tuned in to watch that, you are really, really m missing out. Thursday, we do Product Spotlight. That starts every Thursday at 4 o'clock. And it is a chance for us to answer some questions and delve deeper into some of the products that you guys want to know more about. So that starts at 4 o'clock. Uh, yeah. And then Thursday night at 11 o'clock, we do Late Night Munchies with your host, Chef John. And we're cooking up something sweet and delicious, taking some love letters, doing some love shout-outs. It's a lot of fun. If you haven't tuned into that, make sure you tune in. That starts at 11 o'clock Eastern time. And then on Friday, everybody knows, unless you've been living somewhere where there is no Internet or cell phone reception, it's Fun Day Friday. It kicks off at 12 o'clock. Jody is spinning that wheel. We're giving something away every Friday. So I highly suggest you guys tune in. Jody, what did we give, what did we, the wheel land on this past Friday? I believe it landed on a Rectech Volume 1 cookbook, Ooh, Chef Yard. And that is a wealth of information. It's got some secret recipes in there. Over 40. Yeah, over 40 regular recipes. And it's got some secret ones in there too, right, Jody? Shoot, yeah. Shoot, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So guys, tune in every Friday at 12 to watch Fun day Friday. It is a great time. We're having fun. We're having fun. All right. Let's go ahead and cut into these bad boys. John, uh, yeah, I was just about to ask. We need to cut in there and give it a little taste test. Yeah. Make oh, sure yeah, it's Jody. Uh, safe for everyone to eat. Ooh, buddy. All right, Jody, I got one for you over here. Oh, for me? Now, it's going to be kind of hot, bro. Well, I'm, I'm used to dealing with hot things. Yeah, <laughs> you are. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but I think you do. Guys, yeah, man, it's fire. cheers to you. Come on, get a look it's in there. If you, I'm going to recap real. I'm going to open up face. recap. We've got some goat cheese in there. We've got some salmon that I marinated in some teriyaki. We've got a little bit of spinach. We have some portobello mushrooms that I sauteed off with some garlic, salt and pepper, a little bit of dust. Oh, no, you did. Oh, my gosh. And then mozzarella to hold it all together. A little heirloom tomato. What other uh, cheeses, John, you know, would you recommend? Oh, man. Oh. Mm, well, we're doing goat cheese. You can do cream cheese. You could do Boris and cheese. You could do um, whatever cheese you really like. Whatever, some of your favorite cheeses. Whatever your favorite cheeses are, sharp cheddar would be good in this. Jody. No, you knocked it out of the park, bro. This is really good. All those fresh flavors. Super fresh, tomatoes, super light. avocados, and mushrooms. It's really great, great, great meal for the summertime. You know, mixed with this Dirty Girl cocktail. Ah. Uh, Good and I need problem. a reason to add spinach into my uh, Diet? menu. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And switch it up. If you didn't like spinach, you could switch it up to arugula, spinach, lettuce. You're only limited by your imagination. So what Got was it. the marinade again, Chef John? So the marinade for the salmon was is your favorite teriyaki sauce. Just go to the store, whichever one you always get, get that one. And then add two tablespoons of Asian persuasion to that. That's Jody's. 
Asian persuasion. Yum. Just to kick the flavor level all the way to the top. It came out delicious. We cooked it on the RT700, had it set at 420 degrees, took about four minutes aside to cook, uh, eight minutes total, had the sear kit on the right side, threw the, case, uh, threw the tortillas, stuffed them. Jody, it was so simple. Could you use the griddle? You totally could use the griddle. That's actually, that's actually be totally acceptable. But I just had the sear kit out here, so that's why I did that. Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in, hanging out with us. Remember, with all the craziness out there in the world, let's take time to listen to one another. You know, we are our brother's keeper. And always remember, quality food is quality of life. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. 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 Hey, you call out, Jenny. You yell do, at those people, do, John. Rack Tech Lifestyle. Kevin what's up? You can't get it. Jerry Bass. When the sun starts How you doing? going down. William Hightower. Bob live your Bayer. life to where you like. Jerry Bass was out there it's looking hot, hot, hot. Lifestyle. Michael Frederick. Do, do, Jeff do. Wingo. Do, do, do. Patrick do, do, do. Donovan's out there. Do, do, do. Rack Tech Lifestyle. Do, 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 Burn do, 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 do,